What's up, everybody? Heading out to my appointment now. And I will come back at everybody with another video when I'm done. I'm probably going to vlog a little bit while I'm in the, uh, in the room. If it's okay with the doctor. Uh, I look stoned out of my mind because I didn't get much sleep. I got like three hours. So, yeah. Got some strange ass look from that chick. Whatever. Just for me. I'm tired. I'm like a zombie. I'll come back at you all with another video shortly. Be safe. Where is the lifeline? Um, can't I hear it. it. Where is it? It's gone. We were trying to record a lifeline. Helicopter. But, uh, nowhere to be found. They're speedy little buggers. <laughs> oh, yeah. She doesn't care. What up, people? I, uh, we just got back from my Pullman a little while ago. I'm tired, really tired. I still look stoned. Um, just haven't been sleeping real well, but uh, that's besides the point. Got back from my doctor, man, and my immunologist said my uh, lung nodule is three millimeters, which is like, each millimeter is like a sand. I can't really explain how big it is, but it's really small. So he doesn't think at this point, he said in, with people with CVID, it's pretty common to find things like that. So um, at this point he wants to wait and see in a few months if it grows. If it grows, then we got a little bit of an issue. He wants to go in, then, then they'll go in and do a biopsy of it. Um, but until then, um, he thinks that uh, that I'm okay. That it's nothing really to panic over. Which kind of take a little bit of a deep breath. So um, that makes me feel pretty good, knowing that I'm just freaking like a zombie right now. I'm so tired. This these past few weeks, I just have not slept well at all. Um, and uh, with me stressing I'm hoping now I can a little bit of the relief is off my chest that I can kind of sit back and take a deep breath enjoy life more because these past few weeks I have not enjoyed I mean I, I enjoy myself but don't get I just been thinking too much and that's not a good thing always um, see I think overall the appointment went really good uh, he's really happy with my weight loss, you, you seem really, really, uh, um, really happy that I've decided to finally take my life into my hands because I felt like a hypocrite before. You know, I'm trying to raise awareness for CVID and I'm smoking my lung away, smoking my lungs away, trying to kill myself. I'm freaking, uh, just, I felt like a hypocrite. And if I'm not healthy or as healthy as I can be, and I'm trying to smoke my life away and I'm trying to raise awareness for CVID. That kind of makes me look like the bad guy, doesn't it? So, um, he seemed pretty proud. I lost a bunch of weight. I actually, I actually gained, um, five, about five pounds, um, back, but that's fine. I'm no biggie. Um, I'll eventually work it off and, uh, I will get down to my weight that I want to get to. You know, it's it's hard to keep weight off, and you know I'm trying to build muscle. So at the same time, you got to have a little bit of weight on you to uh, build muscle, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Though. What do I know? Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm pleased with the appointment. I think that you know we were also talking about. I asked him. I never asked him this before because. Um, I was always so depressed before because I was always sick so damn much and I asked him I said so what do you think the you know 
the progress is in the future like what do you think treatment wise like what do you what is there gonna be something else something new that uh that people you know the younger generation that they can live a happier life and he said within the next 10 to 15 years yes uh, definitely and uh that seems like a long time away but it's really not that's closer than than uh and who knows what technology will be 10 to 15 years from now that's pretty crazy to think um and uh i'm real happy because he was really he didn't you know when you're talking to people some people um, they tend to when you ask them a question and they don't know an answer But they want to cover it up and pretend like they know an answer. They'll kind of pause. He didn't pause one bit He came back. He came right back at me and said Yeah, there's definitely Because um, he, he does research for this on the side as well for primary immune deficiencies and different things like that um, Not just primary immune deficiencies, but any immune deficiency he does a lot of research on and uh, that's why he's only in on Thursdays so, uh, I'm really happy with this appointment today. This, is, this may be the happiest that I am. I've seen him a ton of times, but I feel like today, I finally feel like I have a voice, if that makes any sense. I feel like I can, I just felt trapped and alone before. And now that I've quit smoking, I've kind of gained some life back. I can speak for myself. I can speak up and ask questions and, and understand what's going on. And uh, that's a good feeling. So, um, so yeah, if you guys, I mean, if you ever find out that you have a lung nodule, don't get discouraged and think that right away that it's cancer. I mean, uh, because it's, it's very common for people with CVID or any immune deficiency in that matter so don't get discouraged and worry about it like I did and uh you know it could be something but the chances of it being something are pretty slim at this point and uh as far as the uh, cardio goes in my gym me working out at the gym he said to since I have asthma that's probably why that lung is tightening up like that to take a few puffs of my inhaler before I actually start working out um and then when I get more weight off, I should notice a huge difference. And when I get my cardio up, I should notice a huge difference. So that's my story. I could probably talk for another hour, but I'm not going to. Um, there's more stuff that I found out, but uh, it's nothing. I'll probably talk about it in a different vlog when I have nothing really to, to do. And uh, beautiful outside right now. It's kind of warm, but at the same time, the breeze is going and it feels good. So I'm just enjoying myself, enjoying the weather. And uh, enjoying the sky, enjoying the birds. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. Have a great 4th of July.